back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to do space buns. But to make it a little bit exciting and a little bit more fun, I'm going to make them unicorn space buns. Where we're simply going to add unicorn hair, which I actually got from Spotlight. Um, it's got all the pretty colors that you know, people would absolutely love for dress ups or even if you wanna do it for your kids for their birthdays or even just put it as a special in your salon. So I've got a pack of unicorn hair from Spotlight, synthetic hair you can use as well or human hair works perfectly, obviously as well. So what we're going to be doing is entwine our unicorn hair within our braids towards space buns. And now this is the biggest trend at the moment for 2020. So let's get started and have some fun doing some hairdressing. So the tools that you'll need for today is a cushion brush, definitely some unicorn hair, um, some bobby pins. I've got a tail comb. I'm just using a tight tension tail comb. Um, that just means that the teeth are nice and close together. We've got some hair clips and some little hair ties that you can get from your $2 shop. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is make sure the hair is nice and brushed. If you've got really curly hair, maybe run the hair straighteners through it just to make sure that it's nice and sleek and easy to manage. So the product that I'm going to be using today is Osis Wind Touch. It's the number one light control by Schwarzkopf. So just pop a little bit on your hand so you can't see it. And we just wanna run it through the hair. And we wanna concentrate up the top because that's where our braids are gonna sit. And then using our cushion brush, we're just gonna give it a nice brush. So once you've done that, using your tail comb, we're just going to look in the mirror now and we're going to find our middle parting using our nose as our starting point and then that way we'll be able to find the exact centre. So just nice clean sectioning. And we want to take that section all the way down to the back of the nape. And then using your section clips, you're just going to section one side out of the way and we're going to start with the other side. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the unicorn hair out of the packet. So as you can see, that is a lot of hair to put into someone's hair. So what we're going to do is we're going to go color by color and we're going to take the amount that we want out. So I only want really small amounts. So, and I'm just gonna section it like that. And if we can do two samples of those, that would be great. And if we can do it exactly the same or around about the same amount, that's great too. And I'm going to do that to all of the colors. Okay, so that's what we have. So we've got a nice um, rainbow of colors here. And now what we wanna do is just glide your hands through all the way down just to smooth it. So I've just got both of them prepared behind me here. So then that way I can go straight into it. So what we're going to do is one side first and basically I'm going to have two Dutch braids coming back into space buns. In the Dutch braids is where we're going to use the hair extensions. Um, and I'm going to show you how to join them into a braid. Taking a section from the top of the crown to behind the ear, and we're just going to section the back end out of the way because we don't want to use any of that hair. So it will look like that. So the next thing we want to do is we just want to take another section just towards the eyebrow, just here, and we just want to work with the top section first. So we're going to comb that hair back into the direction that we want our braid to sit in. So taking your first section for your Dutch braid, and remember a Dutch braid is basically a French braid, but backwards. So instead of going over the top, we're gonna to go underneath, and that will make the braid sit higher on the head, whereas the French braid will actually collapse more into the head. So that's why I've chosen to do a Dutch braid today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take three sections so you, as you would for a normal braid. And we're going to be starting quite close to the roots and holding that tension tight towards the roots. That's just gonna give us more control and it will also help the hair extension from slipping. So grabbing our hair extension, we're going to sit it underneath the hair sectionings and we're going to attach it to each section. 
So we've got three sections there, so each of them will have a match. Just wanna run your hands through each section, just so then that way the hair's nice and neat and it's ready for us to start. Starting at the top, I'm just gonna do a French braid to begin with, and this is going to sink the start of our braid in so we don't see our hair extension sitting on top. And we wanna do this about three times, just so then that way we can get started. And if you feel like your tension's lost before you keep going, just pull the hair tight and that will just give it a nice tight um, feeling at the top. And now that we've done that, we're just now going to start with our Dutch braid. So taking our first section and we basically just want to, and we want to join those two outer sections together and we wanna start going underneath the hair. So starting our Dutch braid. And once you get to that back crown area, you just wanna keep going with that plait. You don't wanna make it a braid at the crown area. You just wanna keep continuing as a plait. You can see that, that looks so pretty and it does look very unicorn-like. And you can see because we started at the top with a French braid, you can see I've just tucked that in just a little bit. If we started off with a Dutch braid, it would have sat further on top and you would have seen the knot. By loosening up the braid, it will just make the plait look thicker and um, it will give it a little bit more of that style. Loosened up that braid a little bit, it's made it a little bit fatter and that's gonna sit nicely on top. So now we're just gonna do the other side and then we can get into our space buns. And when we do the other side, we wanna make sure that our starting point is the same point as the other side because you don't want one further back than the other unless that's what you're going for. Now you can see I've just done the opposite with the color tones in here. I've done the blue and yellow on the outer edges because I wanted to mix it up a little bit and make it a little bit more fun. So I've got that in each section. So one, two and three. And now I'm going to start nice and close to the roots. And remember, we're gonna start off with three of your French braiding. So it sinks in. is quite lost at the front there so I'm just gonna pull the hair um, tight and that will just bring that tension back again for me so you can see I'm not pulling the extension I'm pulling the hair and that's just brought, brought it back into place for me so that was just a bit of slipping happening there so I've done my three sections I'm now going to start my um, my Dutch braid so taking my first section and just join it to the outer edge Just always pull on those hair strands just so then that way we're nice and tight. So now we've got our outer sections, we're now going to go under. So you'll see what's gonna happen here is it's gonna undo that French braid very slightly, but that's okay because we want to go into a Dutch braid.
Okay, and so there's our second braid all the way through. But what you can see is I've finessed this one a little bit more because you can see all the hair. This one, it's all tucked under. So I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna pull that hair out and I'm just gonna make that plait a little bit fatter and that will give us a nicer effect. Okay, so there's our two braids. They start at the exact same spot, so that's because we've made sure that our sectionings are right. Um, and what we can do is just pull out that top bit just so then that way it matches the other side really well. Um, and you can see how effective that is, the fact that we've changed those colors around. Okay, so now that we've done our nice unicorn hair braids, we're now gonna go into the back section and that's gonna be for the space buns. Now, doing our space buns, what we're going to do is using our tail comb, we're just going to finish off that back section. So I lost that while I was doing the plait work at the front, but that's okay. So I just wanna make sure that that's nice and neat and I just wanna section it one side to out of the way. So now what we are left with is the front section that's over the ear and also the back section where the nape is to the crown, but we've done our braid. Section the front section out of the way for now because we're going to deal with that afterwards. We don't really wanna be combing that up next to our braid and distorting it, so I'm gonna do that last. So what I wanna do is using my giant comb, I just wanna section the back off and the giant comb's really good because then that way I can just get through all those knots. And we just wanna comb that in the direction towards the crown. So nice and um, straight all the way up to the crown area. Now you wanna get quite a high angle because we want that right at the top of the base of that, that braid. And I'm just gonna use my hair tie that has two bobby pins inside and we're just going to push our anchor point down and we're gonna hold onto that top anchor point and then we're just gonna wrap that right around the hair tie and that's just gonna give us a nice strong support. So that's our anchor point there. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. So we've got our two piggy tails at the back and that, that's where our space buns are going to be and they're going to join into our braids. But what we've got to do now is join these side bits in and comb it towards that crown area. And again, I'll do the same thing. Now the reason why I've done this in two separate sections is because I didn't want to see any of the sectioning areas. So this way I'm actually able to blend my edges in really well. So what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this hair around that hair tie and we're just going to pin it. Perfect. So we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. Join that all together. And you can see again, that's blended into my back section and my braid nicely. And we're just going to wrap that around the ponytail. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're now going to do our space buns, but we're going to make it really simple and really easy. What we wanna do is have our bobby pins ready, so nice and close, and we want to basically just twist that ponytail. Keep twisting it, and once you've twisted all the way to the ends, we then wanna use your index finger, and we wanna pop it in the center, and we just wanna slide that up towards the roots. And we just wanna keep twisting that pony until we get a really nice swirl. Once we've done that, we're then going to start pinning. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So keep twisting all the way down towards the ends. Use your index finger, pop it towards the center, and as you lift the hair up, your index finger is just gonna slide towards that root of the pony. Keep on twisting that all the way around. So now we've got our two space buns at the back. We just wanna make sure that they're nice and anchored in and they're not gonna flop around. Okay, so now that we've done our space buns at the back, nice and simple, nice and easy, 
We're now going to be using the rest of our braids. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish that braid off a little bit further. So I'm just going to keep going with it until I get right towards the end. Okay, so now that we've extended our braid, we're just now going to wrap this braid all the way around our space buns until we get to the top. But what we wanna do is we wanna tuck that tail underneath where that braid started. So as you can see, we've got it all the way to the top. That's where our elastic band is. That's where our pin's gonna go and that's gonna anchor that down. So here is one of the top trending hairdos at the moment for 2020. I've done space buns with hair braids. Now I've done a Dutch braid on top with the extensions added into it. I've got that going straight into our space buns at the back and I've just made our space buns sitting on the back of the crown. You can change it up and you can make them sit higher if you like. Totally up to you. Um, this style you can change to however you want to do it. Um, but yeah, I found it really fun and I'm sure you guys will too. Um, this is what hairdressing is all about. Have fun, be creative and try something new. So I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And head over to my Instagram page and give me a follow if you're keen. It's at Katie Dobbin. And I'll see you in my next video tutorial or review. Bye for now. Bye.